All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to prevent hot linking from your website. And for those that don't know, hot linking is when someone adds an image or a style sheet or a JavaScript file or any other resource to their website that came from your website. So they would be, for instance, putting a link to your image in their image source attribute in their image tag. Uh, and the reason that you don't want this from happening to happen is that it hogs your bandwidth. There's people who hotlink are actually stealing bandwidth from people, which in turn are costing them money. So you want to prevent this, and it's pretty easy to do. Um, this isn't a WordPress specific um, fix or issue. So what we're going to do is just add a few lines to the .htaccess file to prevent this from happening. And we can also serve up alternate content. Uh, maybe you want to serve up an image of an angry guy or something like that uh, when someone tries to hot link your images. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to add an image to this post and then I'm going to go on one of my other domains and try to hot link the image. Uh, so I'm in the dashboard, so I'm going to go to posts. And remember, this is just the default WordPress installation. This is exactly what it looks like right after you install WordPress. Um, so let's go to the Hello World post. And I'm just going to pull an image in here. I'm going to click on Add Media, uh, select Files, and I have this little stick figure guy with a key, just a, an image that I found real quick. So I'm going to insert that into my post. Uh, let's center it. And update. Okay, so now if I reload, I have this this image on my site and my post. Now, what I'm going to do now is um, create an HTML page on another domain and try to link to this image. So remember, I'm on techguystaging.com. What I'm going to do is log into my personal website. Uh, actually, yeah. Let's say bradtravesy.com. Uh, my login info here. All right, so I'm going to go to my public HTML and then my dev directory. I have an index file, which I believe is blank. All right, so let's open this up. All right, so what I'm going to do, let's just... Um, I'm not going to put the whole structure of the HTML page. I'm just going to do the image tag. So I'm going to say image src equals HTTP uh, techguystaging.com slash blog slash. Uh, let me see where that image is. Um, all right, so it's quite big. So let me upload that. And I'm going to tr go to bradtravesy.com slash dev. And there's the image. This image is on my site, on my domain, bradtravesy.com, but it, the actual image resides on techguystaging.com. So I'm using Tech Guy Staging's bandwidth to show this image on my website. So let's stop this from happening. All right, so let's go to back to Tech Guy Staging. And let's see, we're in the blog directory. So what I want to do is get this htaccess file. And I'm going to open that up. And we have our code that we, we put in here earlier. 
So let's go down here and I'll just put in a comment. Prevent hot linking. Okay, so if you have nothing in your HT access file, you want to make sure that you have this rewrite engine on. You need this somewhere in your file and make sure there's no hashtag in front of it because that's just a comment. All right, so let's do a rewrite condition. So we want rewrite cond. I'm sorry, I'm going to make this a uh, uppercase R. So rewrite cond, and then we want to do a percent sign, some curly braces, and inside there we want to say HTTP uh, F R E F E R E R, okay, referrer, uh, and then space exclamation, and then you want to use the caret sign, which is shift six, and then a dollar sign. All right, so that's the first line. There's three lines we got to do here. So we're going to do another rewrite condition. I'm sorry, we should have these C's uppercase as well. I'm not sure if that matters, but just in case. Uh, and we're going to have the same thing, this, this HTTP referrer. And now we're going to do an exclamation a carrot and then we want to put in our domain name so http let's say um, and then parentheses and in the parentheses we want to do www uh, and then a backslash and then a dot and then out of the parentheses we want a question mark and we want our domain so techguystaging.com and then a backslash, uh, a backslash and then a dot and then an asterisk and I'm not going to go through what all this means. Uh, some of it I myself don't even know what it means. I just know that it works. So in here we want NC. Alright so one more line. Uh, let's see, rewrite condition. I'm sorry, we want rewrite rule. Rewrite rule and then backslash, backslash dot. And then in here, we can put the, the, the extensions of uh, the files that we, not, that we don't want to hot link. We don't want people to be able to hot link. And that's going to be GIF, so no GIF jpeg uh, let's see we'll do png uh, css and js javascript okay so here we want um, a dollar sign and then a dash and then an f in between two brackets all right so that should do it there might be an error in there somewhere, uh, like right here. I forgot the R. Okay. All right, so let's give that a shot. Save that and re upload. All right. All right, I'm getting a transfer error. Oh, if your HD access has no no write permissions, uh, you need to enable it just so we can re-upload the file by going to File Permissions, and then just change that to Triple Seven. Now we should be able to upload it. All right, so let's go to BradTravisy.com. This is the site that I'm I'm using to steal the image from Tech Guy Staging. If we reload that, we don't get an image. All right, so it's that easy. Now, one more thing I want to show you is we can actually serve up something else for people that are trying to hot link. And what I'm going to serve them is uh, one second downloads view. I'm going to serve them this image of this very ugly 
angry man. All right, so let me just rename this. Um, I'll just call it angry, angry.jpg. So I'm gonna upload him. I'm actually gonna upload him to not the blog directory, but the root directory. Because sometimes we get redirect loops if we do that. So let's put it in a different directory. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the blog. And now we just need to edit our HT access file a little bit. So there's not much we need to edit. The first two lines can stay the same. Uh, I'm going to take the JavaScript and the CSS out because it wouldn't really make sense to replace those with images. Uh, so we'll leave the three image extensions. And now what we want to do is get rid of this and put in our link. So it's techguystaging.com slash angry dot jpeg and then we're just going to have some brackets with an r comma l so if we save that and upload now if we go and try to steal that image we get him so we're, wherever someone is trying to insert an image from our server this will be inserted on their website so uh, pretty pretty cool trick uh, so that's really it I mean that's the basics uh, to prevent uh, hot linking I'm sure there might be other ways but that's the way that's recommended that I've always used so uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next section